fed them with the finest wheat and satisfied them with honey from the rock. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Today, as we celebrate the most holy body and blood of Christ, we rem our intentions for our Mass are for Pope Francis, all the bishops and priests, for those who have been recommended to our prayers, for the souls in purgatory, and for the conversion of sinners, and for the reign of God's kingdom on earth. And so we come together as God's family, conscious of our need for God's mercy and compassion, and calling to mind our need for his forgiveness, we prepare our hearts worthily to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to plead for us, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest Amen. and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in this wonderful sacrament have left us a memorial of your passion, grant us, we pray, so to revere the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that we may always experience in ourselves the fruits of your redemption, who live and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. In those days, Melchizedek, king of Salem, brought out bread and wine. He was priest of God most high. And he blessed Abram and said, Blessed be Abram by God most high, maker of heaven and earth. And blessed be God most high who has delivered your enemies into your hand. And Abram gave him a tenth of everything. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <coughs> you are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The Lord's revelation to my Lord, sit at my right hand until I make your foes your footstool. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The Lord will send from Zion your scepter of power, rule in the midst of your foes. 
You are a priest forever in the line of Mount Isidic. With you is princely rule. On the day of your power, in holy splendor, from whom the womb before the dawn, I have forgotten you. You are a priest forever in the light of Melchizedek. The Lord has sworn an oath he will not change. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brethren, I received from the Lord what I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night when he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he brought it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way also the chalice, after supper, say, This chalice is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the chalice, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. I am the living bread which came down from heaven, says the Lord. If anyone eats this bread, will live forever. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to you. At that time, Jesus spoke to the crowds of the kingdom of God and cured those who had need of healing. Now the day began to wear away, and the twelve came and said to him, Send the crowd away to go into the villages and country round about to lodge and get provisions, for we here are in a lonely place. But he said to them, you give them something to eat. They said, we have no more than five loaves and two fish, unless we are to go and buy food for all these people, for there were about 5,000 men. And he said to his disciples, make them sit down in companies, about 50 each. And they did so, and made them all sit down. And taking the five loaves and the two fish, he looked up to heaven and blessed and broke them and gave them to the disciples to set before the crowd. And they all ate and were satisfied. And they took up what was left over, 12 baskets of broken pieces. The Gospel of the Lord. Over the last couple of weeks with the Feast of uh, Ascension and Pentecost, we've been looking at the ways in which Jesus fulfills his promise that he will be with us until the end of time. And so we're focused on how these words come true. In the Ascension, we see Christ's return to the Father. In Pentecost, we see the Trinity taking up uh, its abode in the center of each of our hearts, that God is with us, Christ is still present in the world, Christ is incarnate in a different way now in each of our hearts through the Holy Spirit by the will of the Father. Today we move to the next uh, stage, that Christ is with us always in the sacraments. It's worthwhile going back <coughs> to the um, incident at the end of Luke's Gospel um, 
where those two disciples are on the road to Emmaus. They're in the wrong place. In other words, psychologically, they are despairing, they are angry, they feel betrayed, they feel everything has gone wrong, and they're walking away from Jerusalem. Now, the whole of the gospel is focused on going to Jerusalem, so they're going the wrong way. They, they are walking in despair. And Jesus comes and walks with them in their despair, in their walking away from Jerusalem, walking away from their calling as Christians. And I always think of this when people come to you and they say, well, Father, I couldn't come to Mass last week because I had an argument with my husband. I'd had an argument with my wife. I had an argument with my children. I was too angry to come to Mass. I wasn't in the right space to come to Mass. Well, that's rubbish. Because here you see people who are definitely in the wrong space, and Jesus comes to them. So we don't have to be perfect. We don't have to be in a good mood to come to Mass. It's nothing about our feelings or our emotions. It's what we ourselves need. So that's the first thing. The second thing is they only recognize Jesus at the moment he breaks the bread. And if you look carefully in Luke's Gospel, in the instant that he breaks the bread, he is no longer with them. They don't see him. And what Luke is saying to us through this incident is in that breaking of bread, Christ is truly present. We have no need for his physical presence any longer because we have the bread and the wine, the body and blood of Christ. That's why it's exactly at that moment, at the moment he breaks the bread and, uh, and shares the wine with them, he is no longer sitting with them. So this deeply affirms the reality that Christ is truly present in the Eucharist. The other thing to ponder today is the, where the Eucharist takes us. It is um, a sacrament entirely of love. And in John's Gospel, John ties the uh, sacrament of the uh, Last Supper in with the washing of the feet. Now, in medieval Palestine, and in many places in the world all over, um, transport was entirely on foot or with a donkey. And so along the road, at various spots where we would have uh, motels today, like there's a bunch of places where you can stop overnight in, in uh, Beaufort West or in uh, Colesburg, a day's drive, they would have a day's walk. They would have a place, like a motel, but it's a foot-tell, not a motel. Um, and there, the servants would wash your feet, help you refresh yourselves, they would give you a meal and you'd have a bed for the night so you could continue your journey. And that's the image behind the washing of the feet. In fact, that's where the word restaurant comes from. A place to restore, restaurant, to restore us for the journey ahead. So the Eucharist becomes our place of restoration. We are restored to continue the Christian journey. And it's a journey. It always leads outward. And so Eucharist is truly Eucharist when we go from here to touch other people's lives, to reach out to those who are less fortunate, to change the lives of those around us. And so let us stand to proclaim our faith. <clears throat> I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, 
True God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him <clears throat> all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was an incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sakes he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sin and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. <coughs> Dear brothers and sisters, Christ has invited us to the banquet at which he feeds us with his holy body and blood. Grateful for such a marvellous gift, let us place before God our prayers and intentions. <coughs> the response is, Christ, bread of life, hear us. Christ, bread of life, hear us. For the whole Christian people, that we may be strengthened in unity and communion as in obedience to the command of the Lord, we eat this body and drink his blood. We pray. Yes. For bishops and priests called to preside at the Eucharist, that they may always feed the baptized with the bread of life and the blood of salvation. We pray. For the Christians who cannot receive the Eucharist, that the Lord may purify them, feed them with his word, and lead them to a full share at the banquet of the covenant. We pray. Christ, Christ of life, hear us. For the whole world, that it may experience the loving providence of God, and in lasting tranquility and peace, our days may truly become the acceptable time of grace and salvation. We pray. Christ, the bread of life, hear us. For those who starve and suffer because of lack of food, that they may rejoice in the help they receive from the Christians, who in obedience to the command of the Lord, reach out to them in love and feed them. We pray. Christ, bread of life, hear us. For the sick and the housebound, that they may be strengthened and consoled as they receive the body and the blood of Christ and the brotherly care of the Christian community. We pray. Christ, bread of life, hear us. For our Christian communities, that the Eucharist may always be the powerful medicine for us sinners and the nourishment that strengthens us in our evangelizing mission, we pray. Christ, bread of life, hear us. For ourselves and those close to us, that our Sunday celebration of the Eucharist may heal us of all divisions among ourselves and bring us to share what we have with the poor. We pray. Christ, the bread of life. Yeah. Merciful Father, gather, listen to our prayers and turn with compassion on your children gathered here before you. 
that those you have invited to share at the banquet of the Eucharist may never be left without your assurance and help. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant your church, O Lord, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace, whose signs are to be seen in mystery in the offerings we here present. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For at the Last Supper with his Apostles, establishing for ages to come the saving memorial of the cross, he offered himself to you as an unblemished lamb, the acceptable gift of perfect praise. Nourishing your faithful by this sacred mystery, you make them holy, so that the human race, bounded by one world, may be enlightened by one faith and united by one bond of charity. And so we approach the table of this wondrous sacrament, so bathed in the light of your sweet in the sweetness of your grace, that we may pass over to the heavenly realities here foreshadowed. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out without uh, without end. We acclaim, holy holy holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and having given thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, with uh, Stephen our Bishop, uh, Sylvester his assistant, and all who serve your faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. <coughs> At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us show one another a sign of peace. peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins, sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
body of Christ. Amen. The 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 body of Christ. Amen. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him, says the Lord. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that we may delight for all eternity in that share in your divine life, which is foreshadowed in the present age by our reception of your precious body and blood, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, glorifying the Lord by your lives. <laughs>